Welcome to the Budget Mom YouTube channel. I'm Kamika Love from thebudgetmom.com and today I'm gonna give you some of my best tips and tricks when it comes to your Instagram growth. Now, if you are an entrepreneur or maybe you run a business and you're doing a lot of your marketing or maybe you're using Instagram for your business um, social or a business platform, then today I'm going to be sharing all of my best tips and tricks on how I grew my Instagram account by 355,000 followers in one year. All right, so my Instagram tips and tricks they're a little bit different than what you may think or what you have heard other experts or entrepreneurs or online influencers talk about. I run my Instagram a little bit differently and I have some beliefs that might be a little different than what's been shared in the world before. So one of my number one tips is to never use filters. And the reason I say this is because Filters are used on Instagram for a couple of different reasons. One, people may feel like it makes their photos look better. Another thing that they might use filters for is to give their Instagram feed a more cohesive look. Um, and we're gonna be talking about the whole cohesive feed here in just a minute, but Insta our filters also do one thing. Anytime you use any type of filter on your photo, it gets rid of one important thing the natural aspect of your photos. And when I say that, I mean your natural colors. If you are shooting any type of products and showing that and displaying that on your Instagram, you wanna make sure that those colors are as true as possible to the actual color of your product. Because the last thing that you want is for one of your readers or clients to order your product, get it at home and say, well, wait a minute, this isn't the color that I got and saw on Instagram. Filters have a way of changing your natural color in your photos. So instead of using filters, what I do is I focus on bright whites and colors in my photo, natural colors. And one of the ways that I do that, instead of using a filter, I use specific apps on my phones to te tweak or perfect a certain element of my photo. Now I use the Adobe programs as apps on my photo. If you have the Adobe Creative um, platform and you have access to those different Adobe um, programs, you can get those apps on your phone. And those are the apps that I use to either brighten the whites in certain areas of my photo, maybe to turn down some of the shadow. Um, and that really helps elevate your photos without using a filter. The weird thing is, is before I started The Budget Mom and when I was working on creating my blog, one of the things I started doing was learning photography. Now I wanted to learn photography as a hobby, but also as a way of generating extra income in my life. And this is when I first started really diving down into creating the budget mom. And I'm so glad I made that decision because learning even the basics around photography, so natural lighting, uh, different creativity elements such as what we call the bokeh effect is getting the blurry background behind your photos and, and really learning to have that creative eye around photography has helped me tremendously, not only on my blog, but in my business as a whole. So don't use Instagram filters. My second tip is to be consistent. So one of the things that I do every single day is I show up for my readers. I want them to know I'm here. And showing up every single day also establishes somewhat of a relationship with your readers. So we make sure to let our readers know we are here every single day, we're putting in the effort, and they get to see my face every day, which to me I think is a really, really big thing. So not only do we show up every single day on Instagram, and what that looks like for us is we're posting on our Instagram feed every single day, and we're posting on our Instagram stories every day. We're also consistently showing up on IGTV. We do utilize all of those different areas of Instagram, and we do it on a consistent basis. The next thing I wanna talk about, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, is cohesive feeds are out the door. 
So I really think that the whole idea of a perfect Instagram account, okay, those perfect photos, everything having the same kind of color and look is really overrated. People don't want to see perfect Instagram accounts. They want to see real Instagram accounts, the real you, your real struggles, real behind the scenes, real helpful tips via in the way of photo. So I really, I will never forget and I will always remember this. I thought that in order to grow my Instagram, it was completely based on how my Instagram looked. Instagram is a photo platform, right? So you would automatically think that the more beautiful and perfect your photos, the more and more followers you're going to get. So I spent, in the beginning of my business, I spent weeks and probably months and hours trying to get my Instagram account and feed to look cohesive everything to have the same colors, the same look. And it was really hard to do because it has to do with my, uh, my, another tip I'm gonna be talking about here shortly, but it was important for me to shoot and take pictures of what was happening in my real life. And sometimes maybe the colors in that photo weren't similar to the colors in the photo I posted yesterday. So I was having a struggle with cohesive feeds. And once I stepped away and stopped worrying about that, we did see a lot of growth on my Instagram account. So that leads me to my next tip. Don't schedule Instagram posts. So a lot of businesses and influencers decide to use scheduling program that automatically schedule, post, or remind them to post their Instagram photos. Here's the big reason on why I don't believe this works. Is it more efficient? It isn't gonna save you the most time. Yeah, probably. But for me, what I wanted my readers to see, and the reason I started The Budget Mom was to show how a real budget is used in someone's real life. That means that in real time, I wanted to share my readers what was going on in my life with my finances. And that's really hard to do and schedule out those photos when I don't know what I'm gonna be doing next week. I don't know what I'm gonna be spending on gas or how much I'm gonna be spending on a grocery haul or what my budget will even look like two days from now. So I was finding it really hard to schedule posts. Does that mean it's gonna take a little more time? Yeah. But I feel the more, the more effort and time you put into your Instagram account, I feel is gonna show significant benefits. I don't think that cutting corners will necessarily get, get you there. Now, scheduling posts, when you do schedule posts, what kind of posts can you schedule out in the future? I know some Instagram influencers and businesses who post and schedule, or who schedule their Instagram posts all the way up into months out in advance. So let's think about what kind of Instagram posts you can schedule months in advance. You can schedule what I call text photos. Okay, so you have some kind of text showing on your as your Instagram photo. Um, you can schedule helpful facts written out in text form. You can schedule out quotes. You can schedule even pictures that happen now in your life that you can post, say, two weeks ago. But that, to me, that doesn't make the picture, I would say, in real life relevant. So at least as far as what I post, and my Instagram account. So I tend to lean towards to not schedule Instagram photos because readers want real time updates with what's happening in your business or in your life. So my next tip is to post behind the scenes. So it's great that you're trying to market your business or your brand or your blog on Instagram. But a lot of the time, I think that causes a lot of staleness to your Instagram feed, showing products over and over and over again, um, you know, showing these, I would say business related or blog related or influencer related type of posts. They don't always wanna see that. Sometimes what they wanna see is behind the scenes. They wanna know that you're a real person, that you share the same struggles, that you share the same up and downs. And I feel like just because you share a behind the scenes doesn't mean the content can't be helpful. 
There are still things that you could write in the description of your post that could still be really helpful to your readers, but showing that, that behind the scenes I think is really, really important. So my very last tip for Instagram growth I think is by far the most important. And that is to focus on the value that you provide over perfection. So instead of worrying about how perfect the photo looks, ask yourself what value are you bringing to your readers' lives? For once, one of the things that helped me really get over thinking and feeling that I had to have a perfect Instagram account and worrying about my followers and how many I was gaining every single day or every single month, I stopped paying attention to my analytics altogether. I forced myself to stop looking at the analytics of my Instagram for three months. Didn't pay attention to it. Didn't pay attention to how many views my posts were getting. Didn't pay attention to how, how many comments. Didn't pay attention to how many likes I was getting, how many times it's been shared. I stopped paying attention. Because when I stopped worrying about the things that didn't really matter and started focusing on the things that were truly important to what I was doing and my mission of my business, that's when I felt like the content just kind of flowed out of me. So providing and thinking about the value you're bringing to people's lives rather than how many likes or followers you're getting on your posts or your Instagram, I think is a really big step in getting the organic followers that you really, really want. So my tips and tricks for growing an Instagram account in an organic and real way is don't schedule your Instagram posts. Don't use fil filters. Cohesive feeds are overrated. Focus on real life. Post behind the scenes. Be consistent. Show your face every once in a while and focus on value over perfection. It's amazing to me that I never thought in a million years that we would ever hit 500,000 Instagram followers. But to me, that shows me that we're reaching more people and we're making an impact. And before when people would ask me, how, how did you grow your Instagram account so much and so fast? I used to think I didn't have an answer. But when I finally sat down and thought about the things that we were actually doing on my Instagram, that's when I came up and realized these different tips and tricks for growing an Instagram account. And I, I hope that you have found some value in today's tips. If you found this video helpful, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. Rolling now? Yep. I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on. <laughs> nope. All right. All right, ready? Yep. Look okay? Yes. Okay.